Hi everyone, my name is Sophie Rebecca. My extended ballet beyond borders family have been providing some incredible classes in samba and Latin and ballet and everything else. The ballet has been quite a high uh, level and I thought my contribution to this could be something a little bit lower level. I'm an adult ballet dancer myself, I've only been dancing about coming up to six years. So I thought I'd be able to impart some of my beginner knowledge to you. If you've never done ballet before or you've done a small amount of ballet, this is the sort of class I'm, I'm aiming for you. So I'm not going to get hung up on technicals, we're not going to go crazy, we're going to go over the basics and get your body moving and hopefully I'll encourage you to either take up ballet when all this is over or just get moving a little bit more and enjoy yourself. So this is what this class is for and I do hope you enjoy it. So before we get too far into it, you need to clear yourself a space. Kitchens, dining rooms, things like that are quite good. You can use a kitchen counter as a bar, back of a chair, something stable. Make sure you've got plenty of room to swing your arms and legs without kicking anything. Ideally not carpet, but um, if we don't have any laminate or hardwood floor, then that's fine. Just make sure it's not too slippy. Get some clothing that is uh, not too tight, not sort of jeans or anything like that. Joggy bottoms are quite good. Anything loose fitting where you can move, you need to be able to move your limbs without being restricted. Once you've got all of that, come back and we'll be ready to start our warm-up. Okay, so hopefully we're all ready now and we're going to just jump straight into a warm-up. Before we go into the warm-up, I'm going to explain a few things. Uh, the positions I'll talk about in this particular exercise are first with the feet and second with the arms. So first with the feet is just pretty much as I'm standing now, heel to heel and turned out. You don't need an incredible ballerina turnout of 180 degrees, you just need your natural turnout. And the way to find your natural turnout is to stand with your feet parallel, heels planted on the floor, tuck in your glutes, and then just rotate. And that's your natural first position, and that's perfectly acceptable place to start in. The other one we're going to be doing is second position. That's feet pretty much the same, just extend it out about shoulder hip width apart. And that's second position, then we can come back to first position. Arms are first and second position. I think in this exercise, we're just going to move through first through second, nothing too complicated uh, and we're going to also do tondus as a warm-up this we'll do a tondu exercise afterwards but a tondu is basically just extending the foot and pushing through the floor with your toes but we'll go into that in more detail later this is about getting moving getting warmed up so if you're ready stand in first position find your truth and here we go arm through first to second Tondu to the front, turn it in and out, lift the foot, turn in, turn out, point close, same to second, out, turn in, turn out, and lift, in and out, point and then we close to the back, out, turn it in, turn it out and lift, turn it in, turn it out, Point back to first. Here we go again. Out, turn in, turn out, and lift, turn it in, turn it out, and point it. Then we close once again. Front, turn in, turn out, and lift, turn it in, turn it out, point, and then we close. Last time, and lift, turn it in, turn it out, point, and then we close all together. And that's just warmed at one side, so we're just going to turn straight over, back onto the second side. Arm through first to second.
last time through. Turn it out, point and down. We close second out and turn in, turn it out and then we lift, turn it in and out, point and then we close to the back. And there we go, that's just a quick simple warm up. We'll move on to another simple warm up stretch in a minute. Or now. <laughs> okay, so the next exercise we're going to do is going to be a demi plie followed by a rise. We're going to do it quite a few times to really get the blood flowing, get the joints loosened up. So when I say a, a demi plie, what's a demi plie? So a demi plie is just a gentle bend of the knees and back up again. So demi is just a small plie. Don't worry about the arms at the moment. They can do anything other than just flop. A grand plie will come to you later, but a grand plie is where you go all the way down and back up again. But we're just doing a demi, just a small plie. And all we do is we just use gravity and we squeeze on the way down and we squeeze on the way back up, nice and controlled. Glutes engaged, turning out the legs, using all of your muscles. And then we're going to rise, so we're just going to lift the heels up onto the tips of our toes, balls of our feet, nice and planted. If you feel any cramp or anything like that, just back off and either try again or come back another day. But it's just going to be a demi plie followed by rises. Lots of those to get the feet worked up. So if we're ready, we should have the next music lined up. I'm going to face the bar, face your table, your chair, whatever you're using for support. Again, we're standing in first position. And if we're ready, here we go. I'm going to start with the demi plie of the intro. Here we go. Demi plie and up and back down again. Demi plie and rise back down again. Now to second. This one we're going back to first again. Out to second again after this one. Last one, then we're going to close in first. And just drop the arms. There we go. Hopefully you're warmed up now and you've got blood pumping through your system. Your muscles are nice and warm, your joints are nice and loose. So we're going to start with a nice gentle exercise, uh, which is a plie exercise. We've already covered demi plies. This exercise is going to have a full plie. So what I'm going to just do is walk you through. And what we're going to do is, as the music starts, we'll take a preparation, which is a breathe. So the arm comes out. And then we're prepared. Arms in what we call bra pa. And we're just going to take a gentle demi plie. The arm comes up to second. And a nice second demi plie with the arm coming in and back out, which looks so beautiful. 
we're then going to just flutter the arm and go into a grand plie. Grand basically, all the way down, back up again, arm through first to second, and we're going to take a forward bend. Now be careful not to stick your bum out, you want to keep this controlled. You don't have to flop all the way and grab hold of your knees, you can take it as far or as shallow as you want. So if we just do a nice forward bend, arm comes down and up. Again we'll do a back bend, it can be as little or as big as you like, you don't have to lay back. And just bring it around and then we're going to come out to second with the foot. And then as we put the heel down we'll join it all together and then we do it again, demi and stretch. Demi and stretch. We'll do a grand plie again all the way down and up. This time we're going to do what's called a side bend. So it's up and over and back out. And I think we'll just do an inside arm over, arm through first, back. And then we're going to come off. This foot's going to lift up. We're going to come into fourth position, which we've not seen yet. Fourth position is basically to the front in a little bit and put your weight down. So if you've got first and you've got second, you've got third, which is basically heel to heel, fourth is just a slightly open third. So we're going to go from second up, round to fourth and down. And guess what? Dare me and stretch. Dare me and stretch. Grand, just be careful here. Make sure you open everything up. This can put a bit of strain on your knees depending on uh, where you're at in your, with your physicality. Don't feel like you have to go all the way down. If it hurts, stop at a demi and just wait it out. Come back up again. This time I'm going to start with the inside arm up and over, through first, and then we're going to outside arm up and over, through first. Then we're going to tondo this foot back in, into what we call fifth with the arm closed. And then guess what? Demi stretch. Demi stretch. Grand plie. This time we are just going to come down with the arm and we're going to take that rise. And when we're stable and we're happy and we're comfortable, the other arm's going to join it. And we'll just wait out the music and then come down. So that rise, much like we did at the bar in first position, this time it's in fifth position. And all you do is pull the feet together and just gently rise up. It's not a snatch, it's a releve. This is just a rise. So we just want to come down and we will rise up to fifth. Legs nicely pulled together, nice and strong. Tummy tucked in, bum tucked under, arm up, elongate the back, and up with the other arm. Like I said, we're not gonna get too far into technical, so don't worry if your bum's a little bit stuck out or you're a little bit wobbly. This is just fun. So, hopefully you're all ready now. Let's have a start. We'll start in first, arm in brow bar, when we're ready, we'll get a little intro of music to lift the arm. Here we go. Arm up and out. Dare me, dare me. And I've started it wrong. <laughs> okay, so here we are, we're ready to go. Standing in first position, arm in brow bar. We're gonna do a little breathe and then we'll start. Hopefully you're ready, here we go. And demi and stretch and demi and stretch grand plie forward bend forward and up slight back bend arm to second foot to second close demi stretch Stretch, grand plie, side bend, inside arm, arms through first, up to fourth, here we go, plie, stretch, grand. Side arm through first, outside arm ready for fifth, Demi. 
stretch, grand, plie, up through first and second, and we're just going to come down, rise up, make sure we're on balance, when we're ready we let go of the bar, don't worry if you wobble a little bit, music finishes and we come out and down. And that's that exercise, but we've only done one side, so we need to turn around and do the opposite side to make sure we don't get one leg that's much bigger than the other one. Here we go. Transition to fourth seems a little bit quick, it is. I could have been a little nicer to you, but we're doing great. Inside arm. Outside arm. Tondu back to fifth. Grand Prix. down through bra bar, up to fifth rise, take your balance, arm comes up, and we finish. There we go, that's a plie, several plies, we've just learned plies in first, second, fourth and fifth, you should be nicely warmed up now. And the music's getting ahead of me. So next we're going to do tondu. So we've mentioned tondus a couple of times already, and we've done several. But we're just going to break down the anatomy of them a little bit more. So if I'm standing in first, as we tondu, what am I trying to do? Well, I'm trying to lead with my heel, because the leg wants to be turned out. And obviously as we get so far, the heel's going to lift because I can't do this anymore, in which case we make sure those toes are nicely planted and we point them at the end. Being conscious not to sickle our foot either in or out. So we want a nice straight line leg turned out and that's a tondu down through the toes pulling back with the toes back and that's a tondu don't get too hung up on the technicals we are just going out and in out and in and we're going to do an exercise around this next piece of music let's see what it is Nice and simple. I think that'll do. Okay. So we're just going to do two tondus. So we're going to tondu front and close. Tondu front and close. Tondu to second, closing at the front. Tondu to second, closing at the back. Ready to go back. Just two tondus. And side again, closing back this time. Side closing front this time. And I think we'll probably have enough time to do that twice before we rise up, turn and do it on the other side. So when we rise up, we're going to be in second. We're going to close back, second, close front. And as we close front, we want to just give that little demi plie, that rise we've done, and we turn to the other side and just lower, ready to go again on the other side. So just break that down again. Anyway, tondu side, close back, tondu side, close front front into a demi plie, rise, turn, lower, and we'll go again on the other side. So if you get yourselves into fifth, sorry, third position, don't go crazy, 
here we go. Arm through first to second. Tondu and close. Tondu and close. Tondu second, close in front. Tondu second, close in back. Tondu back and close. Tondu back and close. Tondu second, close back. Tondu second, close front. Again. that turn, up, turn, ready, out, in, out, in, second, close it front, second, close it back, back, close, back, close, second, close it back, second, close it front, last time. Close it front, second close it back, derriere, back, close it. Right, we're still going to do another turn just to finish. There we go. Well done. Okay, well, fantastic. I hope you're enjoying this and you're learning a little bit along the way. I think next. We're probably going to do glissades. Yeah, we're going to do glissades. So, as simple as I'm trying to keep this class, this this one's not massively technical, but it's a bit more technical. Don't panic. So it's a bit like the tondu we've just done. So we're going out with the tondu, but at the end we want to raise just a little bit off the floor, an inch or two maximum, and it's quite a quick. It's a, a glissé. So go out and in, out and in, and that's the exercise basis, that's a glissé. Glissé second is just off the ground, but it's bump, bump. I'll do them slightly slower than this, because sometimes we do exercises and they're like this and it's terrifying and I'm not going to do that for you now. Let's just listen to the music. So I think we'll do one, two, three. Damn it, play here. Prepare the arms. One, two, three. Demi plie, prepare the arms. One, two, three. Demi plie. Rise, turn. Here we go again. There we go. So that's our exercise. You've just heard the music too, hopefully. So you can go one, two, three, nice and slow. Demi plie, prepare the arms. Through first to second, and then we'll change. So it'll go front side, back, side, up, turn around, and then repeat it all on the opposite side. So standing in third or fifth, whichever you're more comfortable with. Like I say, third is more open, fifth is basically heel to big toe joint, third is more heel to middle, legs in a straight line, whichever you're more comfortable with, I'm happy with you doing. Just don't stand in first. So we're gonna start Standing third, ready to prepare the arms. One, two, three. Plie, prepare the arms. One, two, three. Plie, prepare the arms. Last three, one, two, three, down, up, turn, finish. So I've not massively explained finish. Um, when the music finishes, we want to hold our position and look, look out and look beautiful, look proud. So basically those turns, so one, two, three, up, 
turn, arm comes out to second, we're looking out to our audience and we just gather everything together and finish like we meant it and we just, boom. So if you hear me say finish, that's what I mean. It means stay in place, finish it and look gorgeous. So, I think next we're probably yeah, going to do Ronde Jean. So, just a simple Ronde Jean. Okay, that can be absolutely beautiful with just the simplest of tweaks. So Ron de Jean uh, always makes me chuckle. His my friend isn't that good. Uh, and I always think round the ham, but that's Ron de Jean. But no, it's basically just a Ron de Jean is just a rotation through first to the front. That tondu again, a lot of things revolve a tondu. Out to second, round to the back. And then through first, and that's just a Ron de Jean. And we can do it forward or we can do it backwards. And when we prepare, I say, don't worry if you can't do it, but you get a nice flurry. So we can either just go tondu and then round to the back, or what you can do is involve the rest of the body. So we can just go tondu, and you can see this lovely arm position, and then we can just stretch back up. And doesn't that look more beautiful? Come back in again, and back out. Very simple change. So you can either just do bum, bum, perfectly good, or we can go one, and look at the dynamic, really involves the body and the arms and it looks beautiful and it's so simple and easy to do. So do whichever one you feel comfortable with. We're just going to take a tondu to the back, to the front, to the back. I think we'll then do a really slow tondu, another really slow tondu and then two quick tondus closing at the back and then we'll do the opposite so it's out with the arm in with the arm, oh, two slow tondus, you'll hear the music in a minute, and then quite quick tondus. Now depending how long the music is, we'll either finish there, or we might have a quick, from this last tondu we might come up to turn and to do the other side. Arms by your side, here we go. Might as well give it a little breathe. Here we go. Through, round, back, through, round, back, one, two, one, two, and we're going to close it down with the arm. Gather ourselves for a second, back, up, back, up, one, two. And here we go. For that rise, up, turn, and finish. There we go, and that is Ronda Jump. So, next, we're going to move on to frappes. A frappe means to strike. So, what we're going to do is we're going to bring the foot up to what we call silico de plie. Very, very long way of saying we're going to have our foot to the ankle. So you can hopefully see here my foot's raised and trying to be level with the floor. And as I go out, remember that glissade uh, from earlier, 
it's the same sort of action but this time as we do it we're going to just strike just ever so gently touch the floor if you miss the floor don't worry don't stamp into the floor watch out for these toesies so a frappe is just a quick strike that's a frappe to first frappe to second and to the derriere don't worry derriere will always feel like a dog cocking it's like it's horrible i hate frappes the derriere i don't know a dancer that likes them again not going to go too fine to technical as we're doing the frappe try and keep that leg that knee rather rotated back as we return so it's out and back and as we're coming back we pull that turn out same with this we don't need this to be 90 degrees if you're comfortable doing it out there, do it out there. If you can do it back here, do it back there, whichever feels most comfortable. That's what we're looking for. Now, a bit of a treat with the music. Ghostbusters. Let's see what we're gonna do. I think we'll just do threes. Oh, plenty of music, and again, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ready for a turn. Lift the foot up. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go, when we come to turn, we're gonna begin from frappe up the front to the back, to the front, and as it comes, we do that rise again. And swap around and this time this foot's just going to come straight up to that silicone position ready to do the frappe nothing fancy so i'll do that once again so we're going from the back we're going to go one two three rise turn lower and then we'll just go straight on to frappe okay here we go i think at the beginning we just arms going to come through first a second yeah. Oh, and of course I missed something very important that I missed the beginning. So normally with frappes what we'll do, as the arm comes first through second the leg will come out and then we'll just snap it straight back into that silicone player position. My bad, that's my fault. So as the music starts, take the injured leg out and prepare. Right, ready? Here we go again. Ready to go again. Front, 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 side, back, side again. This time with a turn. Two, three, up, turn, prepare. One, two, three, here we go. Second. Last time through. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ready for that turn? One, two, three. Hup. And this time, just finish. There we go, well done. Now it's your frappe, not the drink. So moving on, let's see how evil I was feeling earlier when I put this together. Oh, I'm feeling very evil. Devlapes. I was in two minds whether to put devlapes in. I haven't done an exercise for fondues because I think for an absolute beginner, I couldn't think of an easier way of breaking that down. I'll think of that one for another day. Now devlapes, the reason why I say they're evil is because they go forever. And I've not put Nadage on, so you can thank me for that later. But a devlape quite literally means to de develop. So as I lift this foot up, it's going to go all the way through the floor and these toes are then going to just draw a line up my foot and we can develop in many different ways we can develop to the front we can develop to the side and we can develop derriere and that's basically what we're going to do in this exercise is learn to do the develop now don't worry if you can't develop up to 90 degrees if you can only do it to here 
do it today. This class is about enjoying movement and dance. So don't feel like you have to compete. There are yes, there are dancers who can come here and put it up to their ear. I'm not one of those and I still love my dancing. So don't worry about wherever you can get your height to, that's good enough. And let's listen to the music. Oh, this is nice. Oh, nice and slow. That's why I'm evil. Let's have a think. So I'm just going to mark through that again. That was me just figuring out. I'm going to mark it out for you. I'm going to also do it to the music just so you can pick up on some of the musicality of this. Nice big preparation. Big breathe. And then we're going to just develop it. To the front. And close. To the second. And close. Derriere arm is going to come out to that wonderful line. Each time we're going through second and then closing. So we're going to do it all the way through again. Hopefully by now you'll be feeling this in your hip joints and lots of other places. kept these quite quick, it actually makes them easier and here we go, there's going to be the rise, we'll do fifth, fifth, and then we'll do on the other side, second, just marking it through, Same again. Boom. Yeah, boom. Ready for a turn this time. And then fit to fit with the arms because it looks so beautiful as you come around and look under that arm out to your audience and then we'll finish okay so hopefully we're ready to go let me here we go feet in fifth or third whichever you prefer and we're gonna go nice big introduction big breathe Death. for that turn.
Well done, shake out your legs, they're likely to be a little bit sore after that. They've been working hard, hopefully you've been working hard enjoying it. So now, with everything getting a little bit tight, hopefully, we're going to move on to what we call Grand Batman. Grand Batman is basically just a great beat, a very grand beat. So again, not worrying about the heights. All we're going to do is just basically point the leg out. So that is a Grand Batman. Lots of pressure down through the floor, down through the floor to elongate the leg. And that's what throws it. It's not a lifting. The boys, you tend to do this. And you don't want that bum to tuck. What we want to do is push through the floor and that leg comes up again. Don't worry about height. If you can go on back up to there, whatever feels comfortable, whatever safe for your body. So we're going to take one and I'm going to segment these just so we have a little bit more control. So it would be grown to a point. Close. One and close. And proper plie. Okay, let's listen to music. Bit of a treat again. Arm through first to second. One and two. One two. One and two. That's it. One and two. One and two. One and two. Demi plie and prepare. Prepare. One and two. How much time we got? We're ready for a turn. And one and two. One and two. One and two. Tell me, plie. Second. One and two. One and two. One and two. Tell me, plie. Prepare. Last time to second. One and two. Two. Getting ready for that turn. Finish. That was just marking. Hopefully. So if you understood that, we're just going to push down through the floor and it's going to cause our leg to eject straight leg. And we're going to control that landing because it's not a throw and a flop. It's always controlled. So there's that push the extension to the lift. And then the control back to the floor to that point and then back in that point is our tondu so this part is our tondu again and then this part is basically an over exaggerated glisse so if you're ready for that it's one and two three and four five and six demi plie as we prepare the arms second 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 then derriere and then for the turn we're going to go up to one two three and as we finish we're just going to go up, so the arm's going to come in, and we're going to up and spin out with the second arm. We don't have a lot of time to prepare, then just lower because we're straight off on the other side. So, third or fifth, here we go. Ready, arms going to prepare through first to second. Close, demi plie. the turn. Other side. Same thing. Second. Last time. Ready for the turn. And finish. There we go, shake out those legs. Well done, you've managed to survive this beginner ballet class. Hope you enjoyed it. You should be very proud of yourselves for getting this far. Um, again, feel free to watch this video a few more times. I'm sorry if it went a little quick at times for you. I wasn't going to get bogged down in technicalities. 
So just relax, enjoy the art form, get moving, get more experience and I'll probably make more of these videos at some other time. But thank you very much for joining me.